Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be setting up our February 2019 sinking funds. In front of me, I have my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. This is the eight and a half by 11 version, and it is the colorful version as well. Um, I recently um, um, switched it out from the seven by nine. I just found it in the seven by nine. I definitely did not have any room. I just got done filming our February budget and as you can see I got everything to fit I did need to cut the washi down a little bit at the bottom but everything fits beautifully and I love the way that it turned out I think it's super super cute and I love that the flag matches and everything so um, I am using kit let's see take out my stickers kit um, 109 for our sinking funds and then I'm also going to set up the transaction log today as well so I absolutely love this kit. It is beautiful. I love the navy with the pinks and everything. It's just super pretty. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So I am in kind of disbelief that it is already February <laughs> or almost February when I'm filming this, but I kind of knew that this year was going to go by fast and I feel like once you have kids especially the time just goes by faster and faster it feels like so okay so we got that sorry if the table was shaking there for a minute um, and then we're gonna put our February sinking fund script sticker down So cute, February sinking funds. And then I will put down the washi strip that states um, category, start, addition, subtractions, and the ending balance. Let's put that right here. That's definitely crooked at the end there. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to put this, um, ooh, this page is not cut properly, so I have to be careful when taking up these washi strips. Okay, there we go. Put this um, at the bottom down here I love like I feel like having this bottom strip just ties everything together really well I'm a big fan okay and then we'll just put let's see what did I do in January okay yeah I skipped one line so I'll just put this ugh. Might have to just message Kate and tell her that some of these were cut kind of weird because um, my January kit was doing this as well. Okay. And it's fine, it's not a big deal. You just gotta be careful that you're not, like that you don't tear, tear the washi. Okay, and then that takes care of that. Now, as far as our sinking funds are concerned, I don't think I drew lines or I did draw lines. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the lines out now um, just so I can make sure that everything like looks pretty centered. Um, I just like the look of it more when the columns like are spaced out, right? It's something I learned from just doing it last time and you can kind of line up everything just with these little in-between spaces. So I'll just make sure there. And I don't like drawing the lines on the washi personally. I've seen some people do that, but I just don't like the look of it, so I don't do that. Everyone's got their own preferences and ways of doing things. Okay, and then let's draw this line right here. 
Now I don't know the starting balances exactly for each fund because technically February is not over yet. I'm filming this on January 25th. So I'm not gonna put in the starting balances right now. I'm just gonna put in what we're planning on adding to everything. And then I'll update you guys, you know, of course, later on um, on our balances and everything. Okay, so the first sinking fund that we have is Beachbody. And Beachbody is the workout program that we use. It's um, an annual, annual subscription. It's $99 a year, and you can access all of Beachbody's workout programs, which I love. We canceled our gym membership quite a while ago. I did love going to the gym, and I loved our gym. We went to uh, Lifetime Fitness, and their kids' programs are amazing there, but it was expensive, like 170-something bucks, I want to say. Um, we are planning on getting our membership back, but while we're getting out of debt, we did decide to cut it and we're just doing beach body for now. So, you know, maybe that'll change later on. We'll go to the gym again, but for now we decided, um, to, to not do that. Um, okay. And then we've got beauty, which that includes haircuts. It includes new makeup, includes my nails, my eyebrows. My husband likes to go get a nice shave every now and then. So it includes all of that. And then we've got birthdays, uh, car tags, which is like car registration. In Arizona, you have to register your vehicles once every year. Um, so that's what that's for. And then we've got car repairs, Christmas, we're saving now for Christmas. And I, I've gotten questions before about, you know, what are sinking funds? Christmas is like one of the best examples you can give. So say you want to have a $500 um, Christmas budget. So at Christmas, you, you want $500 ready to go set aside for Christmas. Instead of taking that whole $500 out of your December budget, um, start saving now, like right, right now. Because if you saved maybe, okay, for easy math sake, start saving $50 next month, that gives you 10 months, you know, times $50 equals 500. So by the time December rolls around, you would have the full $500 and it's way less painful <laughs> that way because a little bit adds up very quickly um, with sinking funds. And that's what I love about them is that like, you know, I was stressing the other day because I was like, man, I like, I really need to get some socks here soon. Like my sock, um, stash is like dwindling and I've got holes in my socks and things like that. I haven't gotten out gotten any new socks yet, but um, then I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I have my clothing sinking fund. I can just use that to go get socks. Like it's so nice having the money set aside and not have to not having to worry about like adjusting your budget like crazy to like make all these extra little things happen. Um, and then when your annual subscription comes up, like for example, for Beachbody, instead of $108 coming out of our account in, was it August, I think, you know, we're saving for it now and it's just $14 a month. But by the time August rolls around, that'll be paid for in full plus some um, in cash. So I personally love sinking funds. I wish we had started them sooner, but um, we didn't do them at all in 2018 because we wanted more money to go to debt, but admittedly, we just, we didn't do very good with paying off debt in, um, 2018. So, um, but anyways, so clothing for me, clothing for Andrew, and then we've got clothing for Maddie as well. And I separate that all out. That way, you know, no one's eating up the whole clothing budget. Everyone's got their own individual budgets for clothes. And then we have Headspace, which is a meditation app that I like to use in the morning. And I do have an annual subscription for that. And then we have holidays, which holidays are like Easter, Halloween, things like that. And then we have our house. And I'll just put house expenses. and Massage Envy, which Massage Envy, I signed up for their like program, whatever it is, and I can't get out of it. It's like, it's a contract. I, you have to pay for 12 full months in order to cancel it. 
So what I've been doing is you can freeze it for six months at a time. So I've been freezing it for six months, and then it gets unfrozen, and then my husband or I go get a massage, you know, we, depending on who got one last, and then we freeze it again. So <laughs> that's kind of what that's for. It was a big mistake signing up for that. I mean, maybe it'll be nice to have once we're out of debt, because I do think getting massages is obviously a really nice thing, but not when you're trying to get out of debt. So personally, like I would rather spend my money on other things other than massages. Some people might find massages necessary. And that's the thing, you guys, personal finance is super personal. So, you know, if you're getting out of debt, but you get your monthly massage, you go, you go, you go do that. I think that it's important to prioritize like what's important to you. And that differs individually so much. Like personal finance is personal. So what I spend money on doesn't mean you have to spend money on it. What I don't spend money on doesn't mean that you like shouldn't be spending money on it. I think everyone's got their own things, you know. P some people might have a much tighter grocery budget than us, and I applaud you first of all because you rock. I've tried like lowering it, and it just doesn't like work very well for us. Um, but and then some people have an even higher grocery budget than what we have, depending on where you live. Like if you live in Hawaii, New York, I know food is more expensive in those areas. California, a lot of living expenses are more um, expensive. So, yeah, anyways, just wanted to put that out there. OK, so for our starting. Oop, yeah, I'm not going to put our starting there. I'm putting our um, additions column. I almost wrote it in the start start column. That would have stunk. So glad I caught that. So we're putting $14 into Beachbody this month. We're gonna put $75 into Beauty. We're going to put $50 into Birthdays. We're gonna put 25 into Car Tags. Car Repairs is getting 250 this month. We have to get new tires on one of our vehicles this month, so we put 500 in last month, so the 500 plus the 250 this month should get us our tires, which is good. We need to get that done ASAP. And then Christmas, we're putting $60 in. Everyone is getting $30 each for clothing. Headspace is gonna be $9. Holidays, it's 20. House expenses, 100. Um, and then Massage Envy is 10. Pick Monkey is 7. And Vitamins are 75. And vitamins includes like MCT oil, collagen peptides. My husband gets like turmeric or something, um, shots that he takes, things like that. So it includes all of that kind of stuff. And then when you add all of this together, let me double check real quick. Okay, so our total that we're adding in this month is $785. So there we go with that. And that, you guys, is our sinking funds for February 2019. I almost forgot to set up the transaction log <laughs> in this video. I got a little, uh, little hasty there. So let's go ahead and set that up together real quick. So all I'm gonna do is flip this around and put our washi strip at the top real quick. And I love having this transaction log. I love the way that Kate um, set everything up. It's really, really great. And I've loved using it. So um, let's go ahead and put our little script sticker up here. Okay, and then we'll just put and this page is seriously so quick <laughs> to set up. It's awesome. So we'll just put our little washi strip here. 
and the headers that Kate gives you are the date the transaction took place, the description, and under the description, I like to just put the category of the sinking fund that it came from, the amount, and then what I really love is this balance section, so you can kind of keep a running total of your balance from your transactions, and this is gonna bug me. I feel like this needs to be a little bit lower on the page. Um, I really love that she included that because it's just nice to see and kind of keep track of the balance as you're going to make sure you're not, you know, like overspending or something. Okay, I feel like that looks better. All right, cool. So that's in and then all we have to do is put our washi on the bottom. And seriously, see how quick that is? It's awesome. I love these budgeting kits. Oops, kind of put that on. There we go. All right, so when you look at each page, like kind of side by side, this is what you have. And look at how beautiful that looks, you guys. Like, I love this so much, <laughs> I can't even tell you. Um, and just a comparison, this is my, so you can kind of see it with like the transactions. I don't put lines for the transaction log. I think it looks fine without lines, but this is just, you know, everything kind of filled in here. And then again, here's my monthly view. There's my February budget. And then, yeah, here's the whole sinking funds page, which I seriously love this so much. So let me know if you do sinking funds, what kind of categories that you guys save up for. I'm always looking for ideas. I am obsessed with sinking funds. I think it is such a genius idea. I absolutely love it. Um, it's the nicest feeling ever, just like knowing that we have money set aside for all of these things. You know, when they come up, we have cash like ready to go to pay for them, which is so, so nice. Um, it just gives me that extra, you know, sense of security. So I highly recommend doing sinking funds. You definitely don't need to do as many as we do. You don't have to be, you know, put as much as we put in to our sinking funds. We put a lot into our sinking funds, but, um, and I mentioned this, I think in our like monthly budget video, we are definitely being more generous with our sinking funds, our personal money, our grocery budget, our entertainment money, all that stuff because we know that 2019 is our year to pay off debt, like no matter what is going to get paid off at the latest by November if, of this year. Um, I've already projected everything out and unless something like super crazy emergency happens, it will happen this year. Um, I know some people might think that that's weird and that we'd want to be like more like gazelle intense being so close, but for us, we're just kind of like, you know, we just sort of want to loosen the reins and, just, you know, have it be a smooth sailing ride <laughs> at this point. And I know some people might not agree with that and that's totally fine. Um, like I said earlier, personal finance is personal. This is just what works best for us. It's what keeps us motivated. So I just recommend that you do what keeps you motivated. And in the end, we all wanna win with money and we're all in this together. So we should always just encourage each other and um, be positive and uplifting to one another because the debt-free journey is a taxing journey. It is. We've been, this is our third year starting this year. And, you know, I am ready to be done, but I'm also just like happy, right? I feel very content, if that makes sense. I feel very in control of my my finances right now. My husband and I are on the same page 100%, which is really great, obviously, for our marriage because money can be a huge source of stress for, for couples and things like that. So I just feel really... I just feel really good. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, definitely leave those in the comment section down below. I do try to respond to all of your questions and comments as quickly as I can, and I respond to everybody. If you're taking the time to leave me a comment, um, I am definitely going to respond to you. I, I respect that, and I really appreciate the, the positive you know um, feedback that I've received and the sweet words. I mean, you guys are so, so awesome. I seriously appreciate you so much. Um, and then also, if you have not already subscribed, definitely do that. I would love for you to join our little YouTube family here. And um, I do post every single day at noon Arizona time. Uh, you can hit the bell notification button if you'd like to, to get notified when my videos do go up. 
And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up to let me know. And I will chat with y'all later. Bye.